So here I'm going to unbox the Solaris LM35811 evaluation kit from Texas Instruments. I'm cheating a little bit. I have had this open so it's not the first unboxing but uh, we'll make it almost seem like it. it's the first time for me. So first of all you have the Solaris evaluation board, uh, USB cable, we have a JTAG debugger cable, which I don't need. And of course the uh, software and some documentation. Just a quick readme. Quick start, that's it. So the CD will have your documentation, um, the, the drivers for the board, and also um, whenever you ordered this kit, um, there's about five different um, options uh, depending on what software package you would like to program the board with. Um, for instance, this one is for Kelly Tools. You can get I IAR Embedded Workbench, uh, Code Sorcery, Red Technologies, or Code Composer Studio. So you have to pick an IDE in order to uh, use with this board. So, first off, here's a uh, little information about this board. It's uh, from Texas Instruments. Um, I got mine for about $50 plus shipping. You can get it straight from Texas Instruments or places like Newark or um, DigiKey, places like that. Um, it's got a 32-bit ARM processor, and that's the, the heart of it. It's a uh, Cortex-M3. Um, if you don't know, ARM is a uh, basically an architecture for chips, and, and different manufacturers can license that architecture. Our ARM processors are very, very common. Uh, in fact, I think I heard that uh, something like 4 billion of them are made every year. Something insane. Um, but this little board has um, four... ADCs or analog to digital converters, which is essentially analog input. Uh, several different methods of communication, two UARTs, uh, timers on board. This thing has at least uh, three uh, pulse width modulation uh, pins, um, one to 32 general per general purpose I.O. which means that there are 32 pins that you can use as discrete inputs or discrete outputs. This board also has uh, JTAG pins here so that you can use this board to program other um, Texas Instruments Solaris chips. Of course there's an onboard USB, reset button, a user button and a potentiometer up here. So pretty cool. This thing comes preloaded with um, a game on it for demonstration purposes. Let's go ahead and power it up. You can see that I chose the Kelly Tools um, IDE for uh, programming this thing, so let's go ahead and play this game to show you what, what this thing does right out of the box. Just hit the button here, and we have to shoot these things and try not to die. And it's um, keeping score, basically a, a time, there's a timer going, and the longer you last, the longer your score. I just died. There, my score is 574 can push again to play and um, if you stop using the board for a little while a little screensaver comes on they they claim that um, this little uh, LED display can have some burn-in so a screensaver is um, appropriate for it whenever you plug in the uh, board it will try to install drivers uh, about three different times. 
if you have the CDN, that's a great place to actually get the drivers. Um, Windows might not have them. But um, whenever you get them all installed, it'll, it'll install an extra little COM port here, COM8, um, for the board. And you can use HyperTerminal, which I've configured for uh, 115.2, 8.9, and 1. And then whenever you play the game, the uh, serial port, COM port, will output your score. So you can have the running score. Eh. Let's turn that around. So let's go ahead and play and watch our score go up in real time. Then when I crash, 354 was our final score, and there's our score. Let's do it again. Ah. There we go. Alright, there it's... If you wait more than two minutes, it'll start running the screensaver. So, that's really about it for the straight-out-of-the-box uh, stuff. I think my next step is to actually get out the IDE. In, in my case, it's Kelly Tools, and try to uh, start loading some stuff on it and uh, do a hello world and play with code. So, um, I will probably post some of those in later videos. Thanks.